What's up YouTube? I've got an event this weekend so I wanted to show you all my impression. This is uh, primarily based off of the 275th Infantry Division which was later formed into the uh, 275th Volks Grenadier Division. Uh, they were a more late war division and fought through all the major campaigns in Europe. Uh, basically your generic hair line infantry unit so I'm gonna go through the impression now start off at the top and work my way down up here at the top I've got my original M42 Quiz production size 66 shell original M42 uh, fully restored quality reproduction liner and chin strap and I've got some reproduction chicken wire that I got from Russia actually with the uh, correct twists on it additionally I have an original material splinter helmet cover this is like the field made type with the drawstring uh, it's pretty cool I don't really use it very often but something to show uh, next I have my M42 Normandy camo helmet this is a reproduction it's uh, been completely redone though with uh, sawdust texture and Normandy camo and on it I have an issue helmet net. If you have a helmet net on your German helmet it should look like this. This is the exact reproduction of the issue net. Uh, basically anything else is not correct for a German helmet unless it's maybe an American or a British helmet that or a helmet net that was captured. Moving over I've got my reproduction M43 field cap. This is made by 3 Reich, 3 underscore Reich on eBay. Very happy with these caps. They're awesome. The service that he has is great too. Um, does a lot of custom work. Will do basically anything you want him to. So uh, the pattern that he uses for these is spot on and I'm very happy with it. I've got an original late war embroidered eagle and uh, cockade on there. It's original unissued. Uh, moving down I have my service shirt. This one is uh, an original post war that's the same as originals. Um, the buttons were wrong on it so I replaced them with original press paper buttons. Um, not much to say about that. It's a service shirt. Moving over, I've got one of my main tunics. This is a Sturm M40 that I have done up as a reissued M40 tunic. So I weathered the shit out of it and did a bunch of stuff to it. Added some depot repairs, like right there. Excuse me. I added Richard Underwood, Mouse Gray Litson, which in my opinion are the best reproductions on the market. And uh, shoulder boards made out of original wool with uh, infantry piping. The buttons are original, unissued blue gray buttons. Sorry. Um, I've honestly been asked if this is an original tunic before, so I'm very happy how this turned out. Looks even saltier in person. Doesn't quite translate on a camera. Moving over I have a Lost Battalions M44 tunic. These are just outstanding. Uh, whatever run of... seen a couple different Lost Battalion M44s and the run that these ones were made off of. The wool that they used is just amazing. It's like the matte late war uh, brownish feldgrau. And on there I've got original material feldgrau 44 wool shoulder boards. So it's the really brown wool. This is original material. And they're the uh, M44 style shoulder boards as well as the M44 style eagle with the triangle and whatnot. 
So moving over here, I've got my upgraded M43 blast. This is a, has a bunch of private purchase modifications. So the addition of a bottle green collar similar to the M36 style of tunic and the uh, mounted Litson and the embroidered eagle and those were all private purchase modifications done by soldiers to their tunics this is not the most common thing ever done so don't everyone run off and start doing this to your tunics um, but I do have a photo of my specific unit with a guy wearing one so that's why I did it this is actually a custom Gavin and they did a fantastic job with it so I'm really happy got a squad leader's whistle with it and the lowest rank I've seen this style of tunic done up with is a gefrider so that's why I have rank insignia on this one I also made it a NCO candidate in case I have to play squad leader for some reason um, moving over we have an Ant Z M43 Feldbluse these are the super old reproduction tunics made by Ant Z they used to make for a whole bunch of different manufacturers, but they've been out of production for a very long time. And they're, in my opinion, some of the best repro tunics possible if you can get your hands on one. They have these uh, sweet rayon liners in them. You can see that. It's like the shiny type of rayon that was used to line a ton of different German tunics. Uh, this thing has been through the ringer. It's probably 15 years old or so. Uh, super weathered. It's all natural weathering on that one, actually. The rest is all artificial weathering. Next, I have my tan and water or sump muster. This is actually sump muster 43 uh, made by at the front. This is a hooded smock. Um, in my opinion, the most common variation of smock used by the hair only quality reproduction of these available are from at the front they make sump muster 43 and if you want sump muster 44 panther store is the move for that so moving down I'll get into field gear I've got a Our artillery rucksack that I use um, these were used fairly common by the infantry and I don't see a lot of people doing that so I chose to get one um, it's the smaller version with the single pocket in there um, not a whole lot to say about that it's our artillery rucksack, rucksack excuse me got a at the front Y straps I don't use Y straps too terribly often, but there they are. Nothing special. My mess kit. It's the. Uh, I actually have no idea where this came from. I've had this for a million years. I'll get an original eventually, but this is the post-war um, combination of the correct post-war parts. Uh, not a whole lot to say about that either. I've got a completely redone reproduction stick grenade. A guy in my unit did up a whole bunch of these and they look awesome. So he took those Farby reproduction grenades and stripped them down, refinished them correctly, added the correct markings. Um, yeah, it's a grenade. Down here we have my field equipment. Got uh, original ammo pouches. Um, I'm not one of those people that minds using original ammo pouches, so honestly I've used these for years and years, so, and they've held up just fine. If you take care of them like any other leather item, and at the time that I bought them, they were so plentiful and cheap that I, I really don't even care. Um, original bayonet. Uh, it's a mix match Russian capture, I think. 43 dated blade, I think, and a 42 dated scabbard, I can't remember. ATF textiled bread bag. 
Got my belt with the buckle. I've got two different belt buckles. This is a steel buckle and then a, a blue gray painted. Um, I think it's aluminum, I can't remember. But yeah, there's that. My canteen is all original. I think I'm gonna replace that with a repro though, because I don't know, it's seen a lot of wear and I don't like where it's going. That's an item that I don't really like using originals for, so I'll make that a, a repro at some point. This is a shovel cover made by Vincent Smed. And this is the only reproduction shovel cover that I would ever recommend anyone use. And that's because it's made out of pressed off and not leather. And the vast majority of German shovel covers were made out of pressed off, which is a compacted cardboard and not leather. So if you have a leather shovel cover, I would highly recommend upgrading to one of these. Vincent Smed, you can find them on Facebook, and they're just awesome. Uh, moving down, I have an original Zeltbahn splinter. Um, not much to say about that. All original. And then I have some personal items here. Oh, whoops, forgot this. This is my original gas can. Uh, I think it's about time that I refinished it. It's in. I've used this for years. It's pretty beat to hell. Got the gas cape bag on there and the strap. I don't. I think that might be a post-war strap. I've had people tell me it's original, but I'm not an expert in gas mask straps. So if you know, tell me, and I'll get a new one. Just some various personal items I'll go through. This is not all the personal items that I use, but this is just what I had on hand. So I'll show you. I've just got a German triangular bandage that I use for uh, like a neckerchief. I've got a German toothpaste. It's a German lighter. Um, some bonbons. This is like a German photo album. Got some pictures and whatnot in there. German toothbrush, Bakelite toothbrush carrier, got my original Zeiss field glasses, I repainted them and added a reproduction strap and then I weathered them also so they look pretty solid, I'm pretty happy with how they came out, how it came out rather. Um, got this uh, Cigar or a cigar tin with some cigarette papers. Um, these are original cigarette papers, and these are like modern ones. Um, then I have two cigarette cases. Both of them are original. Uh, yeah, that's a more standard one. That's I use this one more often. And this is a nice, fancy one with gold and. It's got whatever guy's initials on there. And then this is like a men against tanks type thing. It's how to use Panzerfaust. And then my sold book. This is a Kriegsmarine one. I do a Kriegsmarine transfer. A lot of the time I just got this so it's not filled out. And my hair sold book got taken from me for intelligence and then I never got it back so you have my sold book give it back uh, <laughs> anyways um, I've got another actually of the same manufacturer both of these are original um, cigar tin got a bunch of original personal items in there I don't take this out into the field obviously but like this is an original Feld post and then got a bunch of other random shit in there this is an original cigar <laughs> that I actually tried to smoke one time, it's pretty funny, but uh, it got like some Reichsmarks and stamps and whatnot in there, don't take that out like I said, got an Esbit stove, a towel, butter dish, at the front makes the best butter dish reproductions, they should be black or orange, not those weird marble ones, those are post-war, uh, uh, I guess I'll go to footwear, these are my favorite boots ever, 
my Robert Land jack boots. These are just the best boots ever made. They're just identical to originals. They're amazing quality. Um, unfortunately, he does not reproduce boots anymore. So uh, I would go later Arsenal. Those are the about the same exact thing. Those are both of equal quality, and he still makes them. So and then I have my low boots. These are SM Wholesale low boots. Pretty happy with these. I've actually never even used these. I just blew out my old pair of low boots, so I got those. Um, Gamashin, these are beat to hell. Uh, yeah, not much to say about them. Moving on up. These are my, uh, excuse me. I'm talking for a while now. Um, it's my winter gear. I have a M42 Montel or great coat. I think it's a Sturm. Again, weathered, original buttons on there. Um, got a hand knit wool scarf, uh, German toque, and uh, gloves. These are the post war gloves. They're West German, and these are identical to originals. So, moving on, the last thing, and most importantly, my K98. This is a Russian capture BYF 1943. Um, nothing's matching on it pretty much, but solid reenacting rifle. Um, missing the sight hood still, but you don't need that. I actually prefer it without. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much the majority of my German impression. Let me know what you think. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.